Hi, I'm Eric Gans. I'm a certified home energy auditor in Maryland. I'm here to tell you that I'm just not convinced that an energy audit is a do-it-yourself type of project. I do believe, however, there are five signs that a homeowner can look for around their house that can easily tell them if they're going to get something valuable from the assessment. Sign number one, comfort problems. It's 2022. With so many sophisticated machines, there's really no reason anyone should be uncomfortable in their own home. Add to the fact that we pay for the energy to heat and cool our homes, it's not making for a really good situation, basically to be paying for hot summer nights and cold winter mornings. We all have an internal temperature gauge that goes up and down depending on what's going on. But if you generally find your house overly humid, too hot upstairs, drafty, or just downright cold, you likely need to get to the source of the problem by getting an energy audit. Sign number two, air leakage. Infiltration and exfiltration points around a house are not always as obvious as it may seem. Windows and doors actually account for very little air communication with the outside when compared to other problems that are usually hiding in plain sight. If you see spider webs around your house, especially close to where the house is connected to the outside, you should definitely get an energy audit. Sign number three, insulation level. This one is pretty simple. Pop your head up in the attic. If you have less than a nice, evenly spread 10 to 17 inch blanket of insulation, then you need an energy audit. Sign number four, low airflow. You can put the best AC unit in and pay a fortune in the process, but if the ducts aren't working right or they're disconnected, you're going to be wasting important resources. So if you find yourself on a hot summer day parked beneath the AC vent debating with yourself or really anyone else for that matter that air is actually coming out of a vent, you should probably get a home energy audit. Sign number five, high ceilings. Raised slope ceilings on upper floors create extra space and provide a lot of benefits aesthetically. Interestingly, most of the construction of those fancy features live below the roof and in the attic. This results in the need for important care and attention to be given to the way insulation is installed in those areas in order for it to be effective. Sadly, that's not usually the case. But, fortunately for you, those areas are assessed during an energy audit. Getting an energy audit can benefit you if you have one or all of the signs. Getting a home energy audit can set you on a pathway towards better comfort and lower energy bills. Thanks for watching.